the defender we've been waiting for and we're going to meet the creative director of Land Rover, Massimo. Now, just as awaited has been the car, you know, getting a glimpse of this car, mm -hmm. I was, I'm so happy that I'm getting to meet you. You know, you've been a part of the, the Defender design team. And uh, as I said, before I'm a motoring journalist or a creative director or anything of that sort, I am a fan of Defender. Right. <laughs> Just before the Defender said goodbye, I flew there from my pocket, not as a journalist, yeah. to just to have a drive of the car in the Solihull facility. And uh, one more thing, apart from my getting there, the, the, the vibes that I got there when uh, people came to visit the place to, to take the drive was amazing. I mean, as in they had stories. Uh, there, were, there were like uh, two um, Defender owners, like long lost brothers. So one bought Defender from the other, and after 20 years, they are meeting there, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's so cool. crazy stories. Yeah, that's what Defender does to people, it creates stories, you know, it's, uh, it's, created, it's been creating stories for 70 years and, uh, and this will continue to do so. It's... Absolutely, absolutely. So you've now given uh, the world another chance to create stories around the Defender. <laughs> that's what it's all about with the Defender. So, but does that mean, I mean, I probably would say this, def dis designing the new Defender would have been the, the toughest design task in the whole world. Because it's, see, uh, I mean, what I mean is, if I am close to the car, uh, uh, something, the job is easy because you love it so much, you want to do it so well. But there are a million other people who are close know, to the car. I know, I know, and you, you know. You need to you need to accept that you you're not going to be pleasing every uh, pleasing everyone. Uh, yeah, from a design point of view, replacing the last automotive icon, as we call it, uh, it was a huge, huge, huge task. Uh, yeah. But at the same time, it was so exciting, and I always say, f for a designer, it is nothing bigger than that. Absolutely. <laughs> how, how can you compare to redesign a, ca a car, a vehicle that has created a brand like? like Defender, you know, and uh, for Land Rover. So it was a huge task, a lot of excitement, a lot of uh, effort from everyone, because you can't deliver a, a vehicle like the new Defender without massive effort and a combined effort from everyone, uh, uh, you know, engineering and, and design. So it is really the result of a lot of passion and a lot of dedication. Like, can you give an instance in terms of how uh, calls were being taken? You know, because I mean, I understand when it comes to design uh, calls, you know, should it be this way or that? Naturally, there would be a hundred opinions or was it all unanimous? Yeah, yeah well, you know, um, we, we like to say design is not a democracy. <laughs> uh, we have a very clear understanding of what we want to do with, within design. Right. And we have a very strong point of view. Clearly, during the design process, we explore ourselves different directions. Uh, but with Defender, it was very clear what we wanted to achieve from the beginning, you know, clearly uh, taking um, the essence, the spirit of the original Defender and uh, and bring it to, to today, really to um, deliver it to the modern worlds that is so different from uh, when the first Defender came out. Um, so, yeah, we explored a few directions, but um, right in the beginning, there was one that we felt it was the right one and uh, so we developed it and um, still remember the first um, very senior review where we yeah. said yes this is it this is <laughs> it we have the new defender wow you know actually it's, uh, for example uh, when, when it's an icon you know it's difficult to change things which you know have been loved and worked so which what was the most difficult call to take you know to change what because it's a bold design it's a quite a uh, th th when there are lots of elements which are yeah, similar yeah. but it's a departure as well I, I guess i would approach it in a different way we actually wanted to do something new something different we just we didn't want to have a just like a retro exercise defender just for today that makes sense yeah. right we yeah. wanted to have a whole new car that was a true modern day defender so we actually thought what are the things that um, we want to retain from a design point of view and there are a few elements that describe defender 
and that makes um, the new defender unmistakably a defender like the silhouette for instance is a modern interpretation of the original right one. Uh, the fact that it's very short in the front and then low in the rear um, the ground clearance is quite generous right and, and the back end that is so sheer and, and vertical vertical at the front so those are the elements that really describe a defender and couldn't be uh, anything else and those were the elements that we wanted to retain. And then within those elements, clearly everything has moved on. Everything is uh, clearly more modern, more refined, the execution, uh, but still conveys that character of uh, being really durable. Adventurous. And yes, and very tough. Right. Now, that's a great insight that Massimo said, because, you know, there might be people who probably just, you know, like it in different degrees of uh, uh, affection. But uh, one thing that you cannot argue with him is that definitely this is a very modern interpretation. So the first thing I think as a designer is to put the, uh, the product in the new context. Absolutely. And being a defender, I'm sure people will fall in love with it. And, you know, gradually or, or abruptly. Absolutely. <laughs> right. And by the way, uh, he's the designer of another great uh, designer car that I love, which is the Villar. <laughs> so, uh, great. So, um, I don't want to trouble you right now talking no, about no, that. No, no, but I mean, is there is there something like that um, uh, that, you, that you're working on uh, now? The... Oh, we're working on, on many, many things. <laughs> I mean, you just mentioned Villar, you know. We, we, we're so proud of everything we've done, the new Evoque, um, just recently. Yeah. Uh, that's what really makes it special to work in design at Land Rover, is the fact that it doesn't matter. I mean, clearly Defender is a big one, but everything is special. You know, it feels like every car you're working on, whether it's a replacement of a previous generation or if it's a, a whole new white space, it is something special. Great. Thank you so much. It was Thank wonderful you. having you. <laughs> Thanks a, a lot. <laughs> Great. So now it's time for the new Defender. <laughs> <laughs>